Okay, continue where we left off. So, we're still in the epilogue, so... The next one we see is that Sonic is getting exasperated for search for his, um, his friend Tails. And he manages to find him, along with a couple of strangers. Mario, Luigi, Princess Toadstool, and Toad. Donkey Kong, and DD Kong. And Knuckles. So, Tails convinced uh, Sonic to trust them since they helped him escape. So, Sonic just decides to go ahead with this and they have to go find Sally and the siblings along with, you know, the Freedom Fighters. Since they have enough army, you know, an alliance to take down a greater evil. Then at the Palace of Power, we see King Koopa showing off everyone that he's got Kirby. Impressing Mother Brain. But not Bowser. But I am not amused. So this alternate Dr. Wily suggests that Kirby could be useful for... Hmm. Used to give Cyberskull a physical body. As he seems to pack quite a lot of power. And King Koopa likes the idea. Wait, what? Who the hell? Poor Kirby. Then we see Peter No Tail has. Hold on, how'd it go? Has ended up in the street corner where Garfield, Odie, Snoopy, and Woodstock have been resting since they ate. Boy, they must have ate a lot during this round. Or this part of the round, whatever. <laughs> so, Snoopy is a bit freaked out that they have to do. Now there's another cat in this league. But Peter No Tail. Doesn't mind, you know, going along with them. It's like, hey, as long as there's new friends, and Garfield's like, Oh, great, another tag along. I guess Garfield just prefer alone time. Then we see these farm animals found, uh, that dude who's been trapped by, you know, Fondo, along with a very uncomfortable looking monkey. Yeah, Strong Bat, okay. Which makes the farm animals to, you know, get him out of that cage. Along with his dog, hold on. Uh, no thank you. We're all straight. But no need for that uncomfortableness, I'm just saying, because the way he says make out, I would imagine that that'd be what the pig said. So, he even mentions that his home was destroyed by a dragon. So I guess they gotta... Get going. Or how it goes. Let me check. Which raises strong bad suspicions. Okay. So the Street Fighters have finally found the base of the Mortal Combatians. It's like each of them just don't get along for Yeah, even the question that I'm asking, what's going on? Why aren't they getting along? Yeah, I'm confused as you, dude. Then we see a couple of park rangers meet with this, uh, dude, which I guess he's from that same anime that Jin and Akagabuto was from. So, his name is... Gohi Takada. Forgive me for mispronunciation. Who wants to get rid of that monstrous bear, Akagabuto, that has been going on a rampage in the park? So, these rangers don't want, you know, someone that's him... You know, a very old man just do the hunting thing, so they instead hired some other hunters. Victor Quartermine, and that dude from that Wallace and Gromit's Telltale game. And not many people have ever se seen the Telltale Wallace and Gromit games. I'll leave the link down below. I've seen it back when I was in middle school. It's been a long forever. I think his name was... Uh, Monty Muzzle. But Takeda doesn't believe the two have the best interest in mind, though. Well, I wouldn't doubt that. I mean, yeah, I'm... I don't think they have the best interest. Then we see, ah, uh, this dude, the Loki, from that version of Valhalla movie. From, like, 1980s or something. I saw this, like, way back, so... 
It was surprising to see this in the worst universe. So yeah. There is a page on Disney vs. Non-Disney Villains Wiki on his page that Loki was the one who told Malmoth of Ragnarok and that's what got him inspired, which I believe that's what happened. So Loki is welcoming the rebellious gods, or the god rebellious or something. That's, that's Malmoth's group, which some members that are also Malmont's uh, forces, other than the gatekeeper Pyron and LeChuck. Of course, Poseidon is there also, but there's also Isis, the Egyptian goddess of magic healing and childbirth. I'll leave the link down below if not many people have heard of her. So yeah, Egyptian mythology knowledge I have is a bit decent. Not a whole lot, but it's just, it's decent. I have a decent knowledge on it, not too much on it. And this dude, I believe that's Moloch. So, although not many people have seen this version of Loki from Valhalla, I'll leave the link down below. So, this dude, who I thought it was a dude at first, but it turns out that's a woman. Yeah. Thanks. Her name was Lu Yi, the ruler of Pochala. It's serious that she's being left out of the group. Really? I mean, she seems to be the type of woman that could worship Malmont. So to get access, she shows them... Hold on. I think she told them something first. She knows, she shows them that Head Angel has made her first move in the war. Ah, yeah, showing them this. And that's Tamira. So these dudes believe that Angel could be of use. Yeah, I told you that dude would be creepy on his little Angel. Poor Himira. So, that was Worst Heroes and Villains War ever round 7, part 3 of 3. And, yeah, but now I have to make this as a stopping point. So, yeah, this whole thing was good. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.